Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episodes 15 and 16 of Amegami SS. Let's go ahead and get started with episode. Of okay, never mind. Episode 15 in 3, 2, 1, go. I'm kind of hungry. Good thing I can reheat stuff. Oh, hi. Which means you would be eating. <laughs> well, we know how that's going to end for these two. Bye-bye! <laughs> the open desk, I love that. Have a good night! Oh, never mind, we're doing it in this episode, okay? Not mad at it. So it's just me and you. But there was only two tickets, though. Unless Jimmy and she has his own already with him. So yeah. It's a date. You and her. No one else. Just the two of you. Come on. Right, and are you okay with her holding your hand too? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Do 
You ever did yourself? Well, sweetie, you weren't invited. Something tells me Riho will be the next girl to be the main focus after I and then the student council president. Even though we still have the one episode from what I was told about his sister. I'm gonna get scared, are ya? Well, of course. It's just designed to scare you. You have to be. Oh. Now see, why is this now going to read a turn like that one show? Solo leveling. Yeah, there you go. So I'm like, what the fuck is that show name that I watched? But they ain't gonna die this thing.
Hej. Hej. What the? What drugs are you on, Juinchi? But you're still miso ramen. What's wrong? You can't eat her! gonna eat her um <laughs> This is fucking hilarious. Like I said, if she isn't, if it's obvious, if it's not obvious, she's already in love with him. She fell in love with him at the end of the previous two episodes. But maybe during this episode is when he fell in love with her. You look at her, you don't look anywhere else but her. first kiss and everything like oh I'm so cute ah! 
Yes, the typical, yes, you're perverted as fuck, and then we run away because it's like, oh my god, we just kissed you? How do we feel? <laughs> and then typically, like, the next day, 9 out of 10, the girl just makes it, like, nothing happened. Dude, come on now. You got another perfect magazine? Okay, hold on. Let me let me just say something real quick. I, I love the fact he said porny magazine. That is a book. A hardcover book. <laughs> Are you serious? You're not going to talk about the kiss that you had yesterday? You sure? <laughs> hmm? What do you mean what happened yesterday? It's about a butterfly stroke, right? You're not getting in the pool with her. Never mind. You tell him. You tell him what happened so he can understand. Oh. And she wanted to be the one to be selected. Oh, I know how that feels. Not really, like, as something for swimming, but I can say for chorus. We'll talk about that later.
That's right, you do. Really? Cause he likes you. You like her, that's why. Yeah, now, now. Hey, free food. Free food. Food. The best thing in the world. Hell yeah. I can understand how I feels because hearing someone say you're not going to be selected for something is the most devastating thing in the world. So mind you, at the time, I I've been in chorus since, if we're not really counting middle well, uh, I'll, I'll count it for elementary school. I was going to say, I'm at elementary school, not middle school. So I've been in chorus for like ever since maybe about fourth, fifth, sixth grade. I'll take that. Um, when I got into middle school and I was doing choir in middle school and such, like I don't have the best voice. I'm an alto and such. I can get high notes, but not all the time. Um... There was a time where we were doing solos for like auditions and everything and I wanted one really really bad because I was like oh I can get this. Well um this was something where my school my middle school and several other middle schools in the district did a concert together and so they were doing like the auditions and everything for the such and so um I was getting ready to go and my teacher came up to me and she was like, well, unfortunately, we're going in a different direction. Didn't really let me try. And it, it was one of the most devastating moments, but I, I get it. Uh, and maybe in her opinion, she didn't think I was like suited for it. And sometimes you just have to work with the best thing that you have and such. And, you know, if they go with someone else, um... Do not discourage yourself, always. Be positive about the fact that you did try. You tried your best. Yes, your best wasn't up to their standards of being like, yes, I want to pick you, da 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 I want you to be, you know, this representative for this stroke, the, the backstroke, the breaststroke, the butterfly stroke, whatever and such. Or I want you to do this solo, that solo, X, Y, and Z and such. Yes, like I think even now with the jobs that we have and even in jobs, it is still like fucking high school. Regardless, you have your mean boy, mean girls, you have your cliques. You have the new kid on the block. You have everything. Just like you did in fucking school. Um, I don't know how much my Japanese fans will literally understand this. But of course, my American fans. Um, and maybe some other people. I, I could say some of my Japanese fans too. So let me take that back. If you've seen 
any shows that have dealt with something where it's like you are the new person the person and stuff and you have your clicks and stuff if you've seen mean girls in a nutshell or any high american high school movie tv show whatever where it has the clicks and the mean girls and the mean boys and the teachers being like oh you can do this you can find it and shit like that then yeah you're you're getting a little niche of the american experience it's not always like that i will tell you that as someone you know who had to go through that shit um they're good days and bad days but yeah like because sometimes you feel like you know when you're with a teacher and you're hanging out with a teacher um, especially for like after school activities and everything, the the teachers are the one other person besides your parents that you go through for any advice, and they're supposed to be kind of like your best friend, but not really, um, because there's that <laughs> the divergence, <laughs> that wall between you because of the teacher and you're the student, um, but you go to that teacher for like anything, and so I think right then and there when it was me and her in that moment I think my maybe my confidence kind of went low after that I still had like high confidence and everything uh, I mean I think that's with everybody like once again yes I am not the best singer once again alto but like I said even though my my singing voice is not the best I don't give a fuck I will be in here like there are times where when I am not recording <laughs> And maybe I'm just sitting in my bed and reading something or watching something and I sing along with something. Like, that is my moment for me to belt out. Especially if I had a bad day at work. I've had a bad day at work yet. Thank God. <laughs> but yeah, it's going to happen soon. I just know it. But no, no. I, I truly feel for I. I'm glad that, you know, Jimmy, she was there to take care of her and to comfort her. Because rejection hurts. It does. It truly does. No matter what it is. Regular shit. Love. Whatever. It fucking hurts. So, always, that's why I like, I literally say in any of my videos, love yourself. And uh, nurture yourself so much. Because when there is a moment where somebody chips away at what makes you, you, it's super hard to get that shit back. Always... And this is something I kind of want to do for myself. Um, take yourself out on dates. It, it could be a single date. Take yourself out. Um, mainly, I am speaking to my people who have cars and, you know, adult money and such. Um, to some of my younger subs, I would say, yeah, if, you, if you're if you able to try to take yourself out, um, even if you can't, uh, do a lunch date with yourself at home. Do something that you love that'll make you, you know, love yourself even more. Do things that just make you love love again and make you look at things in a completely different light because you never, at the end of the day, want to lose yourself. So go, not only taking yourself out, go, go to, go read a book, go to the bookstore, go on a walk, be safe though, be safe on a walk. Go on a bike ride. Be safe, though. Um, <laughs> go to the beach. Uh, mm, take your dog out for a walk. Go, just go somewhere. Get lost somewhere. It's somewhere you know, though. Please, please, thank you. Do not go somewhere where you don't know, and you don't know where the hell you are. Somewhere you do know. You know your surroundings. You know how to get the fuck home. Do that. Yes. But love yourself. At the end of the day. That's my TED talk for today. Yeah. Alright. Go ahead and pause the video. And I'll see you guys in one second for episode 16. Okay. Episode 16 in 3, 2, 1, go. We can get through this. 25 minutes each. And we got this before we get some new news. Yes. Yes. Oh, uh, God.
Right. What? No, didn't take anything. Have fun, you too. Once again, in every other timeline, those two are always a couple. Oh, well, dang. I thought they would just would have um, skipped the opening, but no. Okay, I gotta check something real quick while we wait. Oh no. I knew that was coming.
Really good. Definitely the great escape. Give her food, though.
Are you lost? spend time with you. You'll see. Something tells me it's going to be that beach. No, sorry, it's okay. You're still the cutest kitty patootie. Come on. We sure are. Keep your mind out of the gutter.
Hot spring? What the fuck? She wanted to surprise you though. Oh, they're pink. It really isn't hot in here, though, but okay. Relax. Well, obviously, you're in a hot spring with a girl. And it's a girl you like. Same. <laughs> she lied, duh. Okay, out of the whole current girls, hers is the second best confection. Her confession is just really sweet. Plus, they went to a hot spring. You cannot be a hot spring. Oh, and then it snows. Yeah, like all babe. But that's so cute. But still, 
Mori's is number one. Kaoru's is number three. Sai only because I beat you behind. I mean, a movie date still is the cutest thing. But this was good. Oh my god. Bye. <laughs> That's sweet. And, and then the fact is that it ends with them on the beach. Like, very similar to Kaoru's, but just, you know, them at a place where they did a lot of things together and hang out, which was really sweet. Like, damn. But yeah, this confession for and how it was escalated top two like oh but still mori is still number one like you you cannot beat mori you cannot beat now with the next two that we have maybe i'm not sure but i on the scale if i could say after all of this i think i would say top three top three i think if i had to still do the order for it i think still mori would be number one kaoru would be number two and then it would be a in between with Sai and I because their stories were just really good. They're both like, one's not better than the other. Confession-wise, one is better than the other, but story-wise, it's very, like, by the same length. It was very enjoyable. I loved being in the atmosphere. I hate the fact that, you know, for her conflict, it was her getting over a depressing moment of her not being selected for the backstroke, which is the most, like, hurtful thing as we said in the previous episode and such but I love the fact that Junichi was there with her to overcome that fear they got to hang out a lot more and then her confessing that ice cream sundae the cherry on top good good food yes let's go I think it's she's yep mm-hmm it makes the most sense because why she got like a big character moment in the previous episode, which made like each girl kind of gets one. So it makes the most sense. Future boyfriend. Uh. <laughs> I think, you know, for this next girl, she's probably going to be one that I'm maybe going to relate to a lot. I mean, this is a girl who was a, like as a woman. But really first, this girl is a girl who is over here. She stresses about her weight and what to eat, what not to eat. And as a woman, I am at that same wavelength. I'm 30 years old and I want to change how I eat, what I eat, because not only for the fact that I want to live a long and healthy, healthy life, I want to look good for myself. As we, as we talked about, even with the last week that I had, no, well, not this week, the week before, um, last week, the week that I had the panic attack and stuff because of what was happening and everything. Um, I, I feel like with that moment and that week, that week wasn't the greatest week for me. I binged on, um, like I think food and I, I have like a love hate relationship with food. I think a lot of us do. I, I love food cause food duh <laughs> but um I also like hate food because of the fact is of my weight and ish and I am one of those people um especially with how my both of my parents are and their um in their current lives medical wise that I don't really want to talk about um there is this fear that I have about it and I feel like I am probably close to that don't want to talk about it <laughs> really don't um and that's another reason why I'm trying to there are days where um whether I am at work and such when I was working at UPS where I didn't eat until I got home so mind you I was working for like either five or six hours um not having anything in my stomach 
and then I would come home and like binge like I I would still eat something for lunch and then I probably would snack on a couple of things and then eventually by the time I would go to eat dinner eat that then go to bed do the the whole fucking thing over again um another thing I think a lot of us do and I, I like I will put myself in this as well uh I uber I uber eats but the biggest thing is uber eats is expensive it's become very very expensive so I try not to do that anymore so you know, a little pat on my back for that. I try to watch how much I use and stuff. But if I'm not doing that, like, I'll just go get it myself. Because I'd rather get it myself because it's cheaper. Um, but there's certain things I like. Uh, I'm a girl. Like, shit. I love me some popcorn chicken. That is my weakness. Popcorn shrimp. That is my other weakness. Um, a hoagie. A, a public sub. A cheesesteak, because my parents are from Philadelphia, so cheesesteak, cheesecake, um, (laughs) anything that, like, is just so freaking good, um, but I still want to watch, like, what I eat, and especially with my new job, I think what I'm probably going to do is eventually go to the gym, even though I have a gym here, and at the same time, I have gym equipment at my house, but I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I'm still figuring that ish out. But yeah, I think this next girl, she's gonna be someone who I really see myself in, especially with her struggles and such, whatever her struggle it is. If it is food and the weight, definitely this is gonna hit home and I'm not ready to see this for the next two to three weeks, two weeks probably. So, oof. Let's just hurry up and get through this next arc. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes 15 and 16 of Oh My God My SS. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for everybody else. And next Thursday for... I fucked up and did it again. Take two. I will see you guys next Saturday for Patreons and next Thursday for everybody else for episodes 17 and 18. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.